Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and I'm here to show you, give you an early preview, early access as it were, to the new Emerald from Simply Nuck. And while we're doing a unboxing video, this isn't quite the traditional unboxing video because this is an early prototype that I'm gonna show you today. It is fully functional and we are testing it in the lab, but the packaging isn't ready. And so this is what the packaging will look like, but we're gonna get straight to the unit. It will come with a 90 watt power supply with a detachable cord, and it will come with the Visa mounting bracket, and it will come with the Visa hardware and little jumper to reset the BIOS. All of that will still be in the box on the finished product. But let's take a look at it now. And it also comes with a couple of antennas. These are currently not captured antennas and it comes with the user guide. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the new Emerald from Simply Nook. Taking a look at the top, you can see this pattern and the Simply Nook logo. This is not a fanless product uh, though. On the front, you can see the N for the Nook and it is an illuminated power switch. So that will come on when the unit's on and blink when it's in standby. Taking a look at the side, you can see the two USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit USB ports, as well as the two USB 2.0 ports on all type A, and then the type C USB 4 port. So this is USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit plus display port. And so you can run monitors off this connector. And then we also have the SD card slot. Turning to the back, the current model has two detachable uh, SMA RP or RP SMA uh, jacks for antennas, which are in the box. There is a 3.5 millimeter HD audio jack for a headset. So that's microphone plus stereo uh, headphones. There's three US, I'm sorry, three HDMI 2.0B 4K at 60 Hertz ports. We have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet and a gigabit ethernet port. And then our 19 volt uh, power input. And this is at 4.74. This is a 90 watt input to handle the i7. We have our Kensington lock in, uh, for those who like to secure their assets. And then we have the heat exhaust from the cooling solution that you can see in there. There are four rubber screws that hold the bottom plate on. So once these are removed, then the bottom plate will come off. Carefully let it fall off because it has the blower assembly for the cooling accessory or assembly on it. You can also see the SSD cooling plate and there is a thermal gap pad that uh, goes on that with the SSD. Taking a look at the inside, you can see the two DDR4 3200 DIMM slots, up to 64 gig of memory. You can see the 2280 SSD slot, and this is up to eight terabytes of PCI Express or two terabytes of SATA. There's also a 2242 accessory card uh, slot in here. You can see the wireless AX radio. It is soldered down. And then the antennas come up to the two connectors in the corner. We also have the processor fan connector. Over here, you can see the battery for the uh, time of day clock. So when the system is unplugged like it is now that the clock keeps track of time. We have a debugging connector that you don't have to uh, really worry about. We have a, a SATA data connector and a SATA power connector for a external two and a half inch SATA drive if you were to operate this like with the, uh, uh, as a motherboard or you know, to uh, some other accessory. And then we have a uh, RS-232 serial port if you want to connect to a serial cable. The new Emerald system from Simply Nook comes in Core i3 Core i5 or Core i7 processors, which makes it great for business applications such as desktop replacement 
or large uh, corporate deployments. You could also use it as uh, for digital signage or other embedded uses. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below and custom configure the unit specifically for your needs. Thank you.